35% of Americans think British accents are attractive. Well, jolly nice of you to say so, fatty. 19% <laughs> of people who bought Katie Price's latest book, Love, Lipstick and Lies, haven't read it yet. Fine. We haven't read it. She didn't write it. Everyone's happy. <laughs> right, let's get started. So we asked our studio audience, do you think you have common sense? Yes or no? Uh, John, do you think you've got common sense? I think I've got too much common sense, yeah. I think I would say that, as a result, I'm bordering on the tedious. <laughs> I don't think I've ever lost my keys or locked myself out or... I can't remember the last time I fell over. I fell over last year. I fell down the stairs and I broke oh. my nose. Now, that does not make life more exciting. Although, ka-ching, Stan a stairlift advert. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you fall down the stairs? Uh, I had high heels on. <laughs> And a rucksack. I always go around with high heels, heels and a rucksack. <laughs> oh, tell me more. <laughs> and you dress as a beef eater. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always have a rucksack. I don't like handbags, so I can put both hands in my pockets. So when I trip, so you can break your nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say, if I maybe I'm too commonsensical, but if I am going down the stairs in high heels, I don't put my hands in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I've always thought is a, not a thing of common sense is I've never understood why people test bath water with their elbows. Oh, no, you've got to use a baby. No, no. <laughs> why do people always use their elbows to test bath water? Because you never put your elbows in the bath. Then you sit there like that. <laughs> your, your elbows never go in the actual bath. And really, what you should test water with is with your balls. <laughs> and that way you would know exactly what the temperature is. OK. Of course, the people with the most common sense are probably, you know, practical people like plumbers. Can't have a look at some of their fine work? <laughs> that's, that's well, maybe that's the though. Siamese twins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good... I'll take a look at this one. <laughs> How do you explain that? <laughs> Mr Tickle, maybe? <laughs> OK, the next one is pretty special, I think. This is an amazing... <laughs> piece of... I don't want them to see my face, but my junk, yeah, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Fern, do you think you've got common sense? I've been told by a lot of people that I don't have any, but to me it all seems logical. Like, I put knives in, toasters and things. Is that a bad thing to they do? They are better hot. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the thing you've done that you've kind of gone, oh, actually, that was a bit... Crazy. Oh, I was on the phone once talking to my friend uh, when I was at school. I was playing with some paracetamol pills. Oh, with yeah, the yeah. Other sure, hand. you play with paracetamol, yeah? <laughs> That's a um, child, yeah, sure. I started putting Scottish it in. Lego. In and out of, <laughs> in and out of my ear, and then I had to go to hospital to get it removed from my ear. And then when they took it out, did you go, oh, it sort of aches a bit, and they went, just have a paracetamol? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was dead funny to go, you know it should go in your mouth. <laughs> I've just remembered something I did, which is very stupid, when I was a kid, walking home from school, and I must have been about eight, seven or eight years old, and there used to be a level crossing that went up like that. Yeah. And I had a parker with toggles, and he'd be waiting for the train to go... No. And I was playing with my toggles, and I tied, <laughs> like, not just one, about four knots across the railing. <laughs> and I was just in a dream world, and then <laughs> the thing started going up. And I was hanging on to this railing. <laughs> in the sky. And this... Luckily, this guy got out of his car and sort of climbed up and cut me down as I was going... <laughs> Are you going to go for Sean? Yes. OK, you're going yes? I can tell you the answer is yes. 76% of our studio Yay. audience think they have common sense. I hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, if you want to watch full episodes of 8 Out of 10 Cats, then you can on my YouTube channel. Um, just, you know, search for it on YouTube and you'll find it, because it's there.